Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Welcome to Scramble Brains Wordcast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Powell. And I'm Will Runyon Jr. And episode 116! Mm-hmm. 116. Does anything momentous happen on 116? Butter. Butter? Mm, butter. Like like Fabio, mm, I can't believe it's not, not butter. butter. Yeah. Butter. Butter. That's what this episode's going to be like. Butter? We're just going to talk about butter. butter. Well, not, here's not the literally. Parquet. That's It means it's going to be <laughs> delicious and fatty. Oh, I thought you meant that we weren't going to have much to talk about because we recorded like two days ago. No, yeah. like four <laughs> days ago. Four days? Yeah, we had a whole I don't weekend. know what day it is. It's. Yeah, I'm losing been, track uh, of time, which probably yeah. is not. That might be part of a full break with reality, yeah. but. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I don't really Sorry. care. Reality kind of sucks. Cool Reality, sucks. as Ben Stiller would have you know, bites. There you mm. go. Well, well if okay. nothing else we do have, we was talking about it. The Royal Rumble was Yeah, oh, yeah, we watched the Royal Rumble. Well, see, you miss out on these things. Will didn't watch Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah, I heard Welcome about that. Out, that's, but... that's when I was enjoying the X-Files, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to talk about the fucking X-Files, <laughs> but we'll get to it. Let's talk about the Royal Rumble, then I will bitch about the, the X-Files. X-Files. Oh, and okay. it is not because I hated the X-Files. What I saw of the X-Files <laughs> was good, but I will get into it. If, right. you, if you're a big football fan, you might not want to listen to this. <laughs> but, Even uh, if you are a big the, football what fan, was it, it was the 28th, bullshit. I believe they said Royal Rumble was last night. Yeah, 28th. 30 men enter, only one you know can stay, and he was uh, the new champ. Well, no, so, but the thing is, is if you don't go over the top rope, apparently you can go to the back for a half hour, then come back out. Oh, yeah, out. you had to be disqualified. Uh, Which uh, means you have to go over the rope. Was it every two minutes? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two guys start, every two minutes another guy comes out. Right. You have to be thrown over the top rope. Both feet have to touch the ground oh. to be disqualified. Okay. So You're if out. you get thrown under the bottom rope and you f- belly flop onto the ground, doesn't count. Doesn't count. You right. can get back in the Which, ring. I don't understand why someone just doesn't slide out and s- walk around the outside ring. Mm, sometimes they do that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and until break. like there's only like two guys left and then slide back in and throw because them back It's over a matter them. of honor, Matt. You know, wouldn't do that unless uh, you're a cheating I, bastard. It, it, bad guys in wrestling don't have honor. But right. usually during the Royal Rumbles, you get surprise entries. You know, old yeah. wrestlers oh, We only come really back got one. New. What yeah. if you what if you get thrown over the top rope but hang on to the rope and then swing back in? Then, then you're in. You're in. Cool. Both you feet have, to, have fall. to touch the ground. All right, the because that happened yes. all the time yeah. last okay. night. Okay. You know, yeah. If you hang on, there was you're even good. one guy who went over the top, got on another guy's shoulders, and that other guy carried him around the <laughs> ring. Because his feet didn't, didn't touch the ground. He but, didn't touch but the, the ground. The other guy was already out, I guess. Well, he's just ringside to support cheer on his team oh, it was the new go. day it was uh biggie and kofi kingston, kingston and yeah. the, the guy so he, that, the, that guy the was trauma. like the the miss elizabeth of that group <laughs> well no, no that was be, no that'd be xavier Woods. yeah that's the guy with the trombone <laughs> yeah that's the miss elizabeth yeah it, biggie it's actually it's wrestles i love story. biggie but uh aj styles come out that aj was the styles bit. aj styles uh tna yeah forever it. he was in tna yeah wouldn't go to wwe he was kind of like the, the company man oh yeah and the fact that they lost him is Bad. Yeah, they when TNA started, their main goal was what was called the X division. It was the smaller guys, the thinner guys could move better, and they know. did crazy shit. Oh, yeah, crazy doing, shit! Like flips off the top rope. And oh yeah, oh, yeah. You know, off the, yeah. And they had the X division title, and, they and that was the like the X. big title. Like yeah. you know, they had a heavyweight title, but that wasn't what right. everybody was after. Well, and then they went, then they went. You know, no one they say never go full retard. Well, yeah. they went full oh. WCW. They oh. brought Hulk Hogan in. And oh, what they was, had. I T- like Hulk Hogan, but that was a mistake. TNA yeah. was an octagon. Okay, it wasn't okay. a squared circle. You know, the squared circle, like the rest of them, the square. Right. Well, Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, come in and decided he had some ideas for the company, <laughs> real life, and they turned it to a square circle. It was bad. Yeah, you know they they buried the X division because then they started bringing in all the older. You know, uh, <laughs> Kurt Angle showed up and Big Pop. Bubba the Love Sponge show up. Oh, to yeah. do he announcing at one point. Yeah, the Dudley boy. No, all the older guys showed up like WCW. Yeah. So Hulk's know. like, hey, I got a bunch of buddies that uh, aren't well, working yeah, these Beefcake days. Beefcake Brutus. Brutus, <laughs> Brutus, <laughs> Brutus the Barber. Beefcake? I don't remember him. He I might, thought he uh, showed that's up. A, that's old school. <clears throat> Man, That's he's from like the 80s. And yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He was in I WCW, he wasn't he like buddy. the Alkalite? Wasn't that him? No, the Acolyte was another guy. Oh, okay. But Jake the Snake. 
Was he? There was Horace no. Hogan in WCW, no, no, which yeah. was Hulk Hogan's like. That might have been like well, nephew. Not or something. not like the oldest guy, but like I said, Kurt Angle. Um, uh, did a Kevin big, Nash was in there. Kevin Nash, Big Papa Pump, Pum, Booker T, Booker T. Yeah, a lot of them. I actually like all those guys, so yeah. that I was not totally and, opposed to it. But they right. did they did it at the expense of pushing the younger yeah. guys out. Okay, and this was what a couple years ago. Yeah, a couple years. Oh ago. yeah, we're talking right. like and now a lot of their younger talent is going to uh, NXT, mm-hmm. which is W or W the main roster of WWE. Yeah, NXT, NXT is like the minor leagues of WWE. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Okay. So it's the development. Uh, NXT's already got Samoa when you, Joe. When you've been when you've been doing it for guys. ten years somewhere else, and then you come and you got to be in the development. Right. World. And then uh, yeah, that's kind of insulting. <laughs> yeah. I've wrestled professionally for ten years, and you want to put me in a developmental deal? Thanks. And and what's <laughs> happening with this is WWE uh, SmackDown Raw is all Vince McMahon. He's okay, got the right. final say. Yeah. NXT is kind of what he gave his son-in-law Triple H to do with. You know, just do what what you want. And that's blowing up. That's huh. doing better than the main roster Uh-oh. WWE. People well, that's are, because he was actually a wrestler. So yeah, he knows what you know what to do. What Vince McMahon want. was never a wrestler. Yeah, he was just a good you know. businessman. Apparently. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's all it was. He, he was. basically, <laughs> all the like your his dad said, now nah, you can't do that because we have to honor our competitors. And he's like, fuck them. Uh, yeah. And he just took over everything. He started stealing their best wrestlers and making right. world or national wide television things. And that's how he became yeah huge. as big as it is. Yeah. Just but the big the, the main problem. Problem was in the '90s, he ran out all his competition. He did. That's the problem. So there yeah. was no competition. So there was no reason to do anything better. Hmm. Yeah. '90s was. wrestling was amazing because <laughs> the war between WWF and WCW. Right. Because well, they had like to keep topping 80s. each other. Yeah. And it made it even the best stuff you've ever seen. That's probably where. Well, I don't know. Do you, would you say that's where? Uh, is it the Royal Rumble? What was this? This is like Royal Rumble, like 28. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, they right, started, started in the, the 80s. 80s. Yeah, see, that's what I was going to say. Do you think that came out of the the competition between? Because WCW is around, that, right? They it was like were 87, 89, 90. 90 see, WCW it's was very, more or less. It they was, were. Um, it was a newer develop. It was a newer company. They just used an old name. Pretty yeah. much is what they did. It was, they, it was. It in, was in. I think it was the NWA. National Wrestling Association, Association, and then they changed it to, or something, and then they split off, NWA split off again. I don't exactly know, yeah, but yeah. it was basically, they basically brought in those guys and renamed it World Championship Wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, I just, I think I remember Wrestle, oh, no, I'm thinking WrestleMania. Yeah. No, WrestleMania, WrestleMania has been around like 30, 30 years. something years. Yeah. It was like the first pay-per-view. Like 84 or okay. 83, 84, yeah. yeah, I was thinking like I thought I remembered WrestleMania three was like huge when I was in like, Hulk Hogan, first grade Andre the Giant. Yo, like, was, yeah, which would have been like eighty seven. <laughs> that that makes sense. Well, it would have been a little earlier than that. Well, yeah, Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan was WrestleMania three. Maybe it what was year live. would that have been? Uh, I'd say eighty five. Eighty six. I think eighty five. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking it's a little earlier than eighty okay. seven. Uh, well, I was thinking the first WrestleMania was probably like eighty four, eighty three, mm-hmm. and then okay. yeah. But it's well, 80s. Was, was that WrestleMania 3? Was that when Hulk slammed the giant? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Which well, has been why done I'm before, mm-hmm. but they made it, you know. Yeah. But he was, Hulked out before he did it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He probably then, got beat down and did the whole, like, listening oh, yeah. to the audience oh, yeah. and stomping his foot thing. And then he, he finished him off with the most devastating move I've ever seen the leg drop. a leg drop. Right, right. Which, like, is a move you do to <laughs> soften opponent, not a finishing now, move. Right. At least nowadays. Yeah, Back but when then. you get, like, an oak tree for a yeah, leg, no, brother. No, but. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not. I, I don't it it was all persona with Hulk Hogan because yeah, it was yeah. not in ring moves. No, it was not <laughs> in ring talent. We had that though. I, I have seen so much crazier finishing moves. Now than, the the right. one thing we can complain about uh, it was myself at my it was at my house and myself mm-hmm. Matt and our friend Ron. Mm-hmm. Or, no, I guess a wrestling buddy we'll call him. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, we were making predictions. Who's on me number thirty? Who's on a screw over all the this champ? Was bold. What it was is there's a new champ called Roman Reigns. That Vince McMahon, you know, doesn't Didn't like. He He's anti-authority. From him or something? No, 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 no. How did he lose and, it? And what it was was he had to defend it at the Royal Rumble. Usually, mm. if you win the Royal Rumble, you're the last guy out of thirty in the ring. You get a shot at WrestleMania at the chance. So that means anybody mm-hmm. on the roster can get the, f- yeah. the number one contender Contendership. spot. Right. Okay. Huh. Well, this time it was Roman Reigns come out the first guy, 
Hmm. He had to last the whole thing and win it, or he lost the title. Okay, and whoever yeah. won the the so Royal he had Rumble, to basically throw thirty guys over the ropes yeah, to win right. to keep the title. And uh, uh, you know, exciting. Uh, he didn't just spoilers. Oh, yeah, man. he lost it. He, he lost the weekend. title. But the the worst of it was was uh, Jericho came out. Oh shit! This is. I still have my theory that AJ was supposed to stay in longer and <laughs> he screwed up and fell on the outside. And so they were like, what the fuck are we going to do? And they're like, keep Jericho in, keep Jericho in. Because Jericho was like the fifth guy yeah. out and he was there till he made it till the final four. Yeah. He's huh. a- well, okay. So, I mean, well, you, we got kind of sidetracked. So okay. you started talking about AJ Styles and then went into yeah, TNA. Okay. So what's significant about him? He was just a great competitor. Oh, he was amazing wrestler. Yeah. And he's been, uh, he was just he, TNA for years and years, and then went more or less uh, I free saw him in agent. Japan. Yeah, he went to Japan. Uh, he's new, doing Ring uh, of new, Honor. Uh, Japan Pro Wrestling in, like, I forget That's exactly That's supposed to be pretty cool. I, it's, I I've watched guy, some of it. Yeah, they really oh. get into oh, it. They, they, they have, do. Like, crazy they do. stuff, right? Like, really bizarre characters and stuff. Oh, like it's that. crazy. Yeah, it's... Yeah. But the funniest thing is, is like you see all these guys and they're beating each other up. All these Japanese guys beating each other up, and then all of a sudden, like this white guy will come out, and he's like <laughs> twice the size of everybody else in the ring, and he just starts swatting them away. And it's like, <laughs> like okay, well, it's not nearly as cool now because yeah. then you realize that all those giant muscle Japanese guys are like five foot three <laughs> and one hundred and twenty pounds. <laughs> It's just everybody else is five foot three and one hundred and twenty pounds, so they don't yeah, or less. Yeah, so. I've never seen Mister Baseball and his Tom Selleck walking through the airport. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, the eighties. Yes, it's a funny time. <clears throat> but he no AJ Styles. He was just he was amazing, and he would yeah, he, uh, he would do crazy show. crap. In fact, I, he didn't do very much crazy crap in the Royal Rumble, and I was actually a little disappointed by it. They probably didn't want him getting. Hurts first. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, so this Inter- was his introduction. That's yeah, this was, yeah, yeah, this he, was. Okay. Yeah, I see. Th- there had been rumors that they had offered him a huge sum to come to WWE. Nothing. We didn't know anything was finalized. And then what was number three? Yeah, he came out number three. three after his Rusev. music hit, and he come out, and the crowd just erupted. oh, they went crazy. Yeah, yeah, okay. was. And he stayed in a long time. Yeah, I was... think he was supposed to make it the final four. I think he screwed up. And oh. They're like, well, damn, we got stories for everybody in that ring, but uh, <laughs> Chris Jericho. Okay, <laughs> yeah. He just happened to be hanging out backstage, and that much. was driving Ron crazy because he hates yeah, Chris Jericho. Right. So I started, I started ribbing him, going, "Chris Jericho, next world champion." <laughs> So uh, I just I saw a thing this week. Apparently, CM Punk, who former wrestler, oh yeah, yeah. CM Punk, uh, he's like going to the UFC. Apparently, yeah, he's been training for six months to a year now. Yeah, he's planning on doing the whole UFC. Uh, so huh. interesting. I've heard him a couple times. He's actually he's uh, been interviewed on the Nerdist podcast. Yeah. a couple. Oh, times. Oh, he's a big fan. He's writing. Yeah. Uh, he's writing, writing a, comics right now. He's writing Drax the Destroyer for Marvel Gosh. right now. So one wrestler is writing a. Another wrestler's <laughs> character. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But uh, yeah, I and he's see him in the ring. Uh, some have made the transition. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. I don't well. like Brock Lesnar. Oh, well, uh, Ken Shamrock back in the day, right? Well, oh, Ken Shamrock came from MMA to the other, other way, yeah. right? Yeah. It was uh, oh, it was Ken Shamrock and uh, who was the other one? The guy with the big porn stash. I can't remember his name. Oh, know. Goldberg was he? No, 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 no. Bam Bam Bigelow did something really? like that. Did he? Oh. But that was like way back, like when they yeah. Uh, he like in the go- Tank Abbott days. Oh, yeah, stuff, Tank know. Abbott was another guy like that. Um, uh, he made those for pres- back and forth. I think. Yeah. Um, who was another one? Man. Was was Blackman? I guess Blackman was karate. Steve Maybe. Blackman. But no, there was a big guy, and they brought him in just to fight more or less Ken Shamrock. He was another mm-hmm. MMA guy, mm-hmm. big guy, almost looked like Tom Selleck. I can't remember his <laughs> name though. Maybe it was Tom Selleck. No, yeah. it wasn't Tom Selleck. He's hot yeah. off the heels of Mister Baseball. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, get this out of the way. Jimmy Bain. B A I. Oh yeah, we got to start with death. I yeah. forgot. <laughs> Former Rainbow and Dio bassist dies at age sixty-eight. Didn't even make it to the sixty-nine. Man. Well, oh, that we. You know, what we left out. Triple H won the title. Oh yeah. Well, well, well I figured we was doing spoilers. Oh well. Oh, no. sorry for Never sorry mind. spoilers. Yeah, he, Triple H won. Yeah, he was number thirty. Yeah, he came out number thirty because we were expecting oh. somebody <laughs> big, and he was like Triple H. Yeah, he's yeah. the yeah, and he's like the owner now or the yeah. co-owner. You know, so it's a big. So everybody else is tired, and he just goes in and throws him out. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much. Yeah. 
So, jerk. Let's see. Oh, Warner Brothers gives permission for R-rated Batman: The Killing Joke. Now, this Joke is that movie. animated Killing Joke. Yeah, right. because Mark Hamill said he'd been already started ago. working on this. Yeah. So, so it's official now. Like yeah. we, this was a rumor, I guess, because we talked about it like a month ago. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Well, I mean, <clears> more, we knew maybe. they were doing. Is it going to be Kevin Conroy too? Yeah, it's okay, Kevin Conroy. Be awesome. And the thing is, lately they've been making them those made for you know straight to DVD cartoons mm. has been pretty. I mean, they've been using some, I guess, saucy language. <laughs> but you know, it's a kid. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. when when you buy this for your kid and the Green Lantern is calling Batman a douchebag, <laughs> whoa, 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 what? What's going on? Well, they're not for kids. Well, he's an asshole. What? No, he didn't just say. <laughs> yeah. So. That, if if yeah. La Blue Girl has taught me anything, oh, it's that some cartoons are not for children. <laughs> yeah. That that would be the one. That would be the one to teach. You I've that. actually never seen it, but I've heard I've heard things. So uh, we when I when I ran the comic shop down here, someone had ordered the and this was VHS mm. the the whole like first season. So we got. And it was I one, love that it's a season as if there's a story. <laughs> there was a story, and <laughs> it was one of those box sets when you. That they made a picture, mm-hmm. all the, the, the oh, yeah. yeah. I always like that. So yeah, it was like hours and hours of what the fuck is this? But yes, there was a story. Can't okay, stop if you say so. Watching. <laughs> Can't stop. Uh, oh, but I want to talk since we're also mm-hmm. talking about um, Monday things on we watched on Monday night. Yeah. I want to talk about something I didn't watch or mm-hmm. didn't watch the complete version of. Is this a callback? Uh, no, the X Files. Oh, now, the X-Files, X-Files made its triumphant return yep. on Sunday night. Yes. Now, here's the problem. I was watching the Royal Rumble, so I set my DVR to record the X-Files. Mm-hmm. I get back from the Royal Rumble. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to go watch the X-Files real quick because i got to go to work tomorrow, so it's going to be 11, but I'm going to want to get this in because I don't right. want anybody spoiling this for me tomorrow. And it's exciting. It's, I get in. Event. No, and then there's like... There's cigarette smoking man. I'm like, I want. First of all, I turn on TV and cigarette smoking man's on there, and I'm like, I've started the recording. I haven't started the playback of the recording, oh. so I'm like, well, this. Wait, why is this on? Oh, did they show it twice? What's going on here? And he's just like, we have a problem. The X Files is open, <laughs> and then it's like executive producer Chris Carter, and like, and I'm like. Okay. All right. Well, it's oh, probably shit. still recording, right? You got so, spoiled like from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not big spoil. I knew he was going to be in it. Oh, yeah. Spoilers, anybody. I, although I can't spoil too much because I didn't see the whole thing. Yeah. But I'm like, well, why is this on so late? But I was like, okay, well, whatever. So I go into my recordings. There it is. The X-Files. One hour, four minutes. Every show. The Flash, it's one hour, four minutes. Yep. Any 60-minute show is one hour, four minutes when it records. I'm like, all right. Awesome. Hit start. Okay. They're on the field with the Carolina Panthers. Okay. All right. Well, let's fast forward through this. Okay. All right. Well, there's more Carolina Panthers. Okay. Yeah, there's Terry Bradshaw. He's talking. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Fast forward. Oh, there's the X-Files. Okay, okay. Okay, here, play. How far in? Okay, no, that's a commercial for the X-Files. Oh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> let's go forward, 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 forward. Okay, they're giving a fucking trophy. Forward, forward, forward. <laughs> What? Okay, what's this? And get ready for our post game show. What, what the fuck? Forward, forward, <laughs> forward, 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 forward. By the time the X Files started, there was 23 minutes left on the recording. Oh. <laughs> so I saw half of the X Files. I don't know what the fuck how it went. After you that. saw well because yeah. it's uh, without commercials and whatnot. I think it clocked in like a little, little over 43 minutes. Yeah. So I saw about half. So yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, what the? F-? And it, but. I will tell you what I did see. Awesome. Because yeah. I'll tell you what, it starts out with this, like, like Fox Mulder uh, yeah. voiceover. He's flopping it. I'm an experienced because da, da, da. then they assigned me to Mulder, Scully, blah, 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 all this other stuff. Then they shut the X-Files down. And then they, like, you know, Bonanza, it burns or something. Yeah, yeah. And then it immediately kicks into da 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 And, I mean, it's like it never even left. It's it was Okay, like, now, now did they, did they just. Sequence. I was now, like, holy shit. <laughs> now, did he go into me and me and Scully, blah, blah, blah. Did he go into, and then no, this but they guy touched... showed up, and then that guy showed up, and then they replaced Scully. And... No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. They didn't touch <laughs> on no Dog it or Ray. Okay, or so, so, they, so just wipe out the last. What two three seasons? Two seasons. It's like they're happen. acting like those seasons didn't exist. I, yeah. If somehow the lone gunman didn't really die uh, and come back, I will be ecstatic. Right. You know, 
That was uh, when they. Oh, you might not have seen the part. <laughs> no, 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 don't no, tell no, me, don't yeah. tell me. Oh, no, you, you mean you mean the part where where yeah. uh, Scully goes into the shower and Mulder's in the shower going, "What? It was all a dream." Oh, those last right, three, right. those last three seasons. <laughs> Spoiler. I've been here the whole time. Although I thought it was so weird, I'm watching the show and I was like, "Man, David Duchovny got pudgy." Yeah. And was it California? Jillian State? Anderson looks like a skeleton, yeah. <laughs> and Mitch Pileggi looks exactly the same. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. He was a little I'm, scruffier than he used to I be. I know, but I'm like, it's like, it, he, it, it's like nothing had happened. Yeah. It's like, right. it's only he been does like, not change. what, 15 years? Change. Come on. I think I mentioned a few weeks ago. Mulder looked older like, than he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was in, I He's saw him alien. in uh, Return of the Living Dead Part 2. He really? had a small part in that, which came out in like 89 or something. Yeah. yeah. And he looks the same in that. I think he had hair, but like. Yeah, but he's gone bald. Yeah. I, that man. I mean, that's what he gave up. He gave up his hair to yeah. never age anywhere else. <laughs> right. So the same deal that uh, Patrick, Patrick Stewart, Stewart made. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's one of those guys. <laughs> because Patrick Stewart looks the same no matter <laughs> what. I mean, you watch fucking Dune and from 1984, yeah. he looks the same as when he did that last X-Men movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's – yeah, but there was a moment – I don't know. Did you see there's like – I got to the point where he's talking, where Mulder goes and talks to the Roswell doctor guy. Yes, and, okay, that's what I'm talking about. When and the, he's like, it's all this and that, 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 that. And he's, he's you know, the guy's playing the typical deep throat Mr. Yes. X part. Well, you don't oh, know the whole guy, truth, the doctor, do you, Mulder? Doctor. Well, what does that really mean, Agent Mulder? And it's like, <laughs> dude, do you guys ever give a straight answer, nope, ever? Nope, nope. Well, he said he would confirm if he uh, if he came to him with some information. I'm like, uh, he's always got these inside sources right. that just say cryptic shit all right. the time. Kind of bunk inside yeah, sources. As long as they don't go as far as... Uh, oh, Which but, is how inside sources really are. It's, oh, what was that show? Not the island. It was the island. They're on an island. What was it called? Lost? Lost, yeah. Oh, as yeah, long yeah. as they don't get like that, you know. Well, they only got like six episodes. Right, yeah. Which I think... Seeing what I saw, I think this is gonna. This is pretty good. It's gonna do okay. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I heard the ratings of, were huge. The the people oh, yeah. who are boohooing it, I'm like, did you guys not watch the X Files? Because this is pretty much the X Files. <laughs> <Yeah>. I mean, <laughs> I was happy. Yeah, man, I was I happy with no what complaints. I saw. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, this is the X Files. I mean, this is what it's like. Yeah. I mean, they like. They hit it hard. I know, like it right? It was just like piling conspiracies. They just hit like everything that's happened. And in you the know last, what I love is like, I've, I've heard years. some spoilers about what happened, but like it's the same thing that happens to Mulder. He sees something amazing. He's got this oh, evidence God. that yeah. will 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 like prove it to the whole world. And then some shadowy government agency comes in and destroys everything. So yeah. all he's got is his word and the fact that he knows it's true. Right. And it's and that's exactly the X Files. I'm yeah. like, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted. Right. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what the next I guess uh, what I heard was the first episode is uh, mythology and the last episode is mythology. So the are we going to get the four in the middle? So we're actually like, going to get X Files episodes in yes, between. They're like going to be you know whatever. That's you know, crazy. Movie I'm hoping, of the week, uh, monster of the week, kind of. I really movie, hope that you know, maybe so. they order this for next year and they up it to like twelve or fourteen. Yeah, because I, I want to see more. They of this. should. I mean, if they have any sense, I'm sure this is going to be. I just I love it. Mystery uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 is coming back. X Files has come back. I just I live in a golden age. It's right. just amazing. That's what yeah. People were what was it? Uh, there's like several things this week. You know, it's like 1991 again. Or That's 90, great. 93 again. I <laughs> I could live in 1991 forever for all I hear. No internet. <laughs> Well, like no internet. I Not mean, like bad internet. I I'm mean, I no had dial internet. up for so long that. Yeah, but that was is, mid nineties. Is that so great? But the thing is, is I wouldn't be going into work every day and by going like, "Did you see that new video?" Because nobody's got the internet. Yeah, yeah. If that's that's the worst thing. Is if nobody has it, then nobody has it. Right. But when other people oh, have something that is oh, you go through information well, withdrawal horribly, so yeah. vastly superior to anything you've ever had, and they continuously rub it in your face, it's worse. Yeah, but saying, "Oh, I'd love to go back to ninety one and that's like someone going, "Oh, I'd rather have been the." 1920s. It was just so much, but no, you don't want it to be the 1920s. No, I don't want it to be 1920s because you know, it's like, no, you don't. But I lived through because I didn't live through the 1920s, well, so I don't know what it was in. like. I lived well, through it'd 1991. Be like Groundhog Day. Think about that. It'd be let's say you could go back in time and restart from 20 years ago. I'd do it. You'd be bored shell. You've seen every movie. <laughs> You've seen every TV show. You've heard all the music. <laughs> You're like son of a bitch. No, because this would be the greatest thing. Because I, I would just like need something new. I would like go into the crying game and go. He's a dude. <laughs> That's <laughs> a dude. 
<laughs> like before, like the shows come on television, I'll be like, "That's ah! yeah." You know, I'd be like Marty McFly in the in the uh, in uh, his mother's house whenever he gets uh, uh, in the Bane house, or he's like, "Oh, I've seen this one. It's where no. I've mean, seen it's this just, one. It's it, brand new." Yeah. He's like, "No, I saw it on a rerun. <laughs> What's a rerun?" <laughs> I thought you were going to say I. I would take the uh, sports almanac back with me. And, I, and I was also well. That's the kind of time travel I want to do. A lot of people are like, "Oh, what kind of?" I wanted to do <clears> the uh, Peggy Sue got married slash hot tub time machine time travel, where I travel back into my own body twenty years in the oh, past, yeah. but have all the knowledge, knowledge that I have now. Yeah, Shit, I don't know anything. I couldn't tell you who won Super Bowls. <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't care. I uh, you know Cowboys, I've missed uh, a lot of movies. I'd probably read a lot more books. There you go. Um, I would buy so much I'd, shit and make so much money. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd get into computers a little earlier. Oh, yeah. oh dot com. A, dot, get in on the dot com craze when you can, a, when it can make a billionaire and, and then, then get, get out, out before, before it, it crashed. Yeah. Right. My Apple stock before what eighty seven <laughs> uh-huh. or ninety seven. It was yeah. ninety seven. He yeah. came back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. Do you know how much money you can make just with a passive knowledge of the future? You don't even have, have to have in depth. I, I don't have to be... know what the stock market's going to do. You could make a killing. This is going to sound terrible, but was <laughs> the plot of Casino Royale. I could buy and sell stock before 9-11 and make a killing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is what the bad guy did Short in it. in um, yeah. in Casino Royale. Now, oh, there was a guy. Made- I wouldn't do that because that's wrong. I don't what was that. it? There was a guy that made billions because I don't know how this works in the stuff, but he bet against the housing bubble. Yeah. He bet that it was going to burst and just go all the shit. But we and should have made... all known it was going to burst. They always burst. Right. It's just how big is it going to get before it bursts. Yeah. Honestly, no. Well, I'm yeah, not. most people were just saying, I mean, yeah, everybody it was like, oh, get, this is going to go on forever. It can't go on forever. It can't. No, but every, no logically it can't. That. But let me tell you, I've got clients that grew up in the Depression. Okay, Mm -hmm. they've seen shit. They've seen it rise. They've seen it fall numerous times. No matter how much they've seen this time, by God, this time it's going to last. That's (laughs) blind hope. That's not. And that's what it is. It's this time. They got it figured out this time. They know what they're doing. No, it's going to every time. No, it surely is not going to go bad. You're, You're giving loans to people that can't possibly pay it back. Oh, yeah, that's not going to go gonna, bad. I'm sure. You know what we can do? We can increase the rate and then repossess our house and resell it. How can that possibly mm, go wrong. wrong? Oh, wait. When you do it to mm. every fucker in the world, it doesn't. Then you can't sell the house. Then you have all this unpaid debt. Uh, then uh, it stuff starts collapsing. And what you gets me, back when it comes loans. to that, <laughs> my boys watched Super Size Me. Have you ever oh, watched yeah. that? It's the guy yeah. where he eats McDonald's for a month straight. Morgan Spurlock. That was yep. his like, big launch. Yeah, product. it was a big thing. It was a good, to do another one. It was a good early. thing to show what McDonald's, you know, uh, uh, yeah, and that's what it was. He could have anything on the menu, had to be three meals a day, couldn't eat anything else. If he could get yeah. it on the McDonald's menu, he could eat it. Yeah. Okay, even water. You know, he could buy I was going to say, he's got to buy it, but, you know. And I don't mind that, but the whole premise was it was it was the time when the uh, parents were suing McDonald's for making their kids fat. Yeah. And at no point was it like uh, personal responsibility. Right. Is it McDonald's fault that they do this? No, it's no. These poor kids are getting kids. Yeah. And they they actually had one lawyer. He said, "Well, why are you you know why are you suing McDonald's?" He goes, "Oh, you mean other than the financial gain." You mean you want you want to like a, yeah, a, a no, hero story here? Okay, give me a minute. And he just blanks. <laughs> but that's what it is. No one wants to take re- same thing with the housing loan. It's like, well, I was making twenty thousand a year, and they told me I could afford a three hundred thousand dollar house. Fuck. And and so I signed the papers. How was I supposed to know? Because you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> that's why. It's Wait like, a minute. Though. Even the year without interest that oh doesn't work out. All that what well. it was was people were buying houses at a very low interest rate, and they were at this interest rate they were barely getting by. If you gave every cent you had, oh yeah, that would still take fifteen years. Oh, here's a good no, story. No, wait, am I doing my math? No, it would take more than that, wouldn't it? Well, hold well, 15, up, fifteen, yeah, fifteen years. Yeah, would do. Would get. But that's every 20, dime you make every without dime, yeah, interest. interest. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, here's a, a story that <clears> came out recently. It was I think it was Canadian. 
This kid went Damn in, Canadians. like I think he was twenty twenty five, like bought a three hundred thousand dollar house. <laughs> Shit. Said I'm, I'm paying pay this man. off. He worked a hundred hours a week. Shit. Lived Fuck. like a hermit, and paid it off in like five six years. Wow. And his his story was I don't have free time now, and I only work yeah. forty. <laughs> and his story was, if I can do it. Anybody can do it. You just want to have to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People are pissed at him because hmm. it makes everybody else look bad. No, well, I know I you can't can do it. Do it. I got, you know what? I could go get another job and double my pay rate of pay. I, right. I absolutely could do that. eat ramen noodles and uh, you know. Well, you got cut off internet, cut off cell phone, yeah. mm-hmm. no, cable know. TV. It, it can be done. I'm not going to sit here and tell yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, it's like anything. I, I said it. I've been trying to get working out again. I just don't have the time. I spent three hours on the computer today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just stand, yeah. well, I just ain't got the time to go work out. Yeah. No bullshit. And that's no one wants to be able to say. You know Whoa. what I, I've been? I it's like I don't have time to shave or trim my beard. <laughs> my beard's getting out of hand, and it's because I sit there and tell you, no, I had time. <laughs> yeah, I dicked around and read comic books for an hour and a half <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's right. it's just how I can you... do it. I just didn't. You know what I mean? It's Oh, my kid next year, we had to go sign him up for high school and sign up his high school classes. Now my now what this is my kid is naturally smart and but he's reaching that level where it's not coming easy to him anymore. Mm-hmm. And he turns shit in late all the time and you've got to literally almost yell at him to get shit done. He'd rather do anything else hmm. than what he's supposed to do. Yeah. And so we go in there about a month ago for like a pre-screen kind of thing. They're like, oh, you're in this advanced class, so so next year you can take like Algebra 3. And you can take, no, it's going to be hard, and you're going to have to study. He's like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can. Oh, mm-hmm. and you can take Spanish. And you. And I'm like, oh, the Spanish, fucker Spanish. can't do it now. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. he, can, he can barely study <laughs> now, and you're going to pile this shit on him. Mm-hmm. Or, no, he's taking well, chemistry scores, and it. geometry. And yeah. it's like, oh, yeah. shit, he's on a crash and burn. I, I hate to say that. <laughs> At least you have this problem. I have an idiot savant on my hands. They like She tests really high in the gifted classes. <laughs> But I got a call from the nurse's office today that she ran straight into a pole and gave herself a black eye. <laughs> Maybe that's just a cover story. Maybe the nurse kicked I her mean, ass. It reminds me of my yeah. uncle, who's like a political science professor at a major university. But if you've ever watched him pack a car, it's the funniest fucking thing in the world. It's like he can't do it. He can't do huh. it. Has no spatial, he, like, he no. can't figure it out. Yeah, huh. it's so funny. And I think I got that on my hands because she like ran straight into a pole. Oh. And I'm like, why did you run in the pole? Did, did you actually get into like a fight and you're covering? I was like, I understand if that's what's going on. Did somebody hit you? And that's no, I ran into a pole. And I was like, well, were you like, did you turn real quick and didn't know it was there? No, I was running this straight line. <laughs> I'm like, Give maybe me something here. Why you ran into a fucking pole? Maybe she needs glasses. Yeah. <laughs> He's I, out of that one. Maybe she doesn't strain. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm like, and pole. they were like talking about like, well, we're gonna check on her, make sure she doesn't have a concussion. And it's huge. It's big. Well, she looks like a fucking oh, well. Neanderthal. <laughs> All right. <sighs> oh, got a got a I don't know, got a situation on our hands now, guys. Uh-oh. February twelfth. <laughs> I'm we, so excited. On one hand, we've got Deadpool. Yeah, which we'll get in that minute. The same day, Zoolander two's coming out. Mm. Oh shit, that's a harder choice than I was expecting. <laughs> Oh damn! And and the um, only thing so far, I, I, well, I, Deadpool I, wins, but yes. it's closer than it should be because I <laughs> I really like Zoolander. Apparently, um, the bad guy. Oh god! Oh, what is his name? It's Will Ferrell. It's Will Ferrell. What's the he's guy back. character's name? I know I saw a preview. And he's he's he. killing like beautiful people. Mm-hmm. And I guess early on he kills Justin Bieber. Uh, Good. Yeah. And and someone says, I'm like, why are you doing He's like, are you really asking me why I killed Justin Bieber? Yeah, good. <laughs> Did he kill the Kardashians too? Well, he's uh, at it. I'm hoping they're in yeah, it. I'm very possible. Yeah, I, I, I get. I bet he. I'm sure that's what they would do, right? They would oh, go yeah. through every major celebrity, you know, have a little cameo and kill them. In yep, the, there you know, go. Yeah, because it is happen. Bieber in the in the yeah. show movie. I love that. Like he knows everybody hates him, and yeah. he plays upon this in these movies. But he does not change his behavior in any way, shape, or form to be a better human being. No, right. He I think still I saw just... something recently that supposedly has started to come around or something i don't know i hepatitis yeah right. <laughs> yeah 
yeah, see, there'll be you'll be things where like you know I know I'm being bad and I want to change my ways, and then he'll go to some Mayan pyramid and take his pants off. I mean, yeah. it's like every time you think he's sacrifice learned, my dick. He wanted to take a picture on the Mayan ruins of his butt or something. Yeah, I think is what it happened. And, like, he had his security guys pushing, like, the federales or whatever the fuck they got down in there. And well, so they kicked him the fuck out of the pyramid. Really? Well, we all know he doesn't like monkeys. Did you hear yeah. that one? He yeah. had a pet monkey in Germany. Well, no, he just can't be burdened with actually having to take care of it. Well, no, he, he had it in Germany, and they said yeah, something like he was trying to come in the country with it. And they said, no, no, and they confiscated it. And theoretically, he's supposed to come back for it at some point in yeah, he, time. And that's what I'm saying. Did. He can't be bothered. He's no, just, no. He, I'll just buy another one. I'll Fuck just get you. another monkey yeah. wherever I'm going. Whatever. Yeah. When, you know, that means he doesn't give a shit. He just bought a monkey no. to buy a monkey. Monkey said. I think they put it in a German zoo or something. Yeah, probably. Paper monkey. All the kids went and saw it. Mm. No, we would have just watched some new clips and uh, commercials for Deadpool. Deadpool. Once again, just I don't see where this movie can go wrong. I, really I don't either. Know. I don't. It's... it's uh, it's. I mean, it's almost getting to the point. It's like, have we already seen everything in this? Yeah, movie? that's what I'm wondering. Like, I don't. Yeah, I'm wondering What's how they're going to sustain. The, well, I don't know the what the actual. I mean, like I know the, the story. Movie. They kidnap his girl, yeah. and he goes after him after he's been put through some experiment yeah. because he had cancer, and this was an experimental cure, but it also turned him into. They're going to make him a slave. Deadpool. A super. Slave. I mean, I understand that, but like, you know. Some over like I know everything. I can almost plot exactly what happens in Batman v Superman based on what right. we're yeah. seeing. Yeah, where this is just a general plot. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think you're right. It's just I, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's all it is. It's a it's a scaffolding on which to have crazy, I mean, funny, it's, it's, violent. Yeah, they're not you know, keeping it super stuff. secret like Star Wars: The Force Awakens, which no. was good in their part because they could have just gone, "It's Star Wars: A New Hope" with new people. Yeah, you know, if they'd said yeah. that, that's pretty much what it was. Yeah, um, but. And a new droid. Yeah, no, with new people. That counts. Well, that's, he's not, not droids people. aren't people. Oh, oh. Our droids anti-droidness. Lives, droids' out. lives matter, man. <laughs> droid lives matter. Yeah, yeah. We don't serve but their kind here. We, we, saw, oh, yeah. oh, we did see a clip where uh, where it's Wade Wilson and his mm-hmm. girlfriend in bed. Or they're, you know, and he's talking about how great they are together. And she goes, wait, I want to ask you something. Since you haven't that. asked me yet. And they start to talk at the same time. He says, will you marry me? She starts saying, will, will you put it in my... <laughs> She's like, oh. And you shut your mouth when your girl says something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, whoa, whoa, I'm sorry, back up. I don't know, he puts what? a ring on it, it might not happen anymore. But again, I... if she's asking for it, it... I know, what I love is the ring he proposed with was a ring pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where, she goes, where Which were apparently you was in his ass. Yeah, she goes, yeah. where were you keeping that? And goes, <laughs> nowhere. And it shows a, 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 the, the scenes behind him, and they blurred out his butt. <laughs> nowhere. Apparently pantsless. <laughs> that was that. Yeah. I love that it was a ring pop that he had stuck up his own ass. That is, I, it's, uh, <laughs> now, now, Al's in it. Al's the old blind lady. Al? Oh, okay. Like O-W-L? I thought you meant the no, Al. A-L. Like, A-L. Al's A-L. lady, okay. like from Daredevil. No, no, Al. That's just what. Okay. I don't that's, know. The, that's her Deadpool name. World. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't know how because it was dark. It wasn't a. He, she was his captive hmm. in the books. Oh, I think I remember this. And, and what it was that he he would like when she slept, she'd move furniture around, and she or he would move the furniture she's around, blind. or he'd switch the the salt and the sugar or shit like that on her. Oh, I do. And she'd always turn it on him. You yeah, know, she'd always okay. get the upper hand. But he's like, you don't want to go back in the box, do you? And she's like, no, 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 not the box. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I remember. It was a little old, her little old lady house, and he was yes. pulled up in it, and he had her captive. Let's put, uh, in, in the movie, she's played by an older black woman, which mm-hmm. is fine. In the books, they travel back to the 19, like 1963 mm-hmm. in the Spider-Man universe, and she doubles as Aunt May to tell you how old she is in the book. Mm. She passes off as Aunt May. That's one of the best issues of Deadpool. Because hmm. it's so funny when he sees Norman Osborn and Harry Osborn in their hair. <laughs> So like, it's what? Like, what is wrong oh, with your hair? Yeah. And then, like, like I think, is it he meets Harry first? Yeah. And then, then he meets Norman. He's like, oh my god, there's two of them. <laughs> yeah, they've got that sideways corner hole. It's yeah, weird. I, well, I think yeah. it was supposed to be waves, but I I read I was reading. Um, they trashed a Deadpool trade at at work today. They were going to throw it away, Why? and I took well because the pages were all coming out. Oh, which one was it? They couldn't. It's that Deadpool and him as a pirate on the cover. Oh, like the the ominous, or yeah, like, yeah. yeah so I took one. it home with me, and it's got a Spider Man story in it, and I just oh, love with it Hit because, Monkey. Yeah, with Hit Monkey, but it's so funny because like, 
Like he's like uh, talking to Spider Man. He's like, "Hey, Spider Man, how you?" And he's just like, "Wham, bam, boom, bam!" And Spider Man just kicks the living shit out of him. And he's like sitting there holding his gut. And he's like, "Holy shit, you're fast!" <laughs> <laughs> but but they go. It's like, is it was it Deadpool or Spider Man being framed? Or they think it was Deadpool. Okay, there was like a major like syndicate wiped out. So Spider Man thinks it's Deadpool. Dead, because, that's why he beat him up because he's like, yeah. "How could you do it?" He had he had a wife. He had no. He had he had he had four children. He had so many grandchildren. <laughs> How could you kill him? He died holding his wife's thing. And he's like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> and they they get there, and you got to remember this is the the age where Spider Man you can see like uh, he'll squint through his you know yeah Larson started that yeah, and he's Deadpool's like, "Wait a minute, I've seen this before." Mm-hmm. This is funny. It's a it's a monkey, and Spider Man's like, what? <laughs> and he's like, you don't believe monkey. me, do you? And it's a hit monkey. It's a monkey. What is what kind of monkey? Like a baboon um, that actually wears a suit and has two handguns. You know what my favorite joke was? What is he goes? Spider Man drops in, and his spider sense goes off, and he's like, are you pointing a gun at me? And he's like, yes, two. <laughs> and he's like, where are you? And he's like, prove you're not hit monkey. <laughs> and he's like, I have thumbs. And then it's silence, and he's like. Monkeys don't have thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> and then Deadpool goes on. And he's like, "I knew that." <laughs> well, I thought mon- monkeys have thumbs. They're just kind of further down their arm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, he, but he holds up his thumbs. It was so funny. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's a good book. Um, but yeah, uh, and we've got new Batman Superman trailer, and I'm still. I'll go see it. I'm just not psyched about it. I'm not it. feeling yeah. it. It's not getting me excited. No. And it should. It looks cool. Oh, uh, but the TV Flash had to come out in support oh, yeah, of the movie that. Flash. That's I'll tell you what Warner Brothers was like Grant Gustin, do, 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 yes. and he's like I don't I'm, guys. I uh, have, well, apparently you do what it. happened? Somebody had posted something on Twitter like, "Oh yeah, the TV show Flash kicks the other Flash." He ass. does, and he li- he Probably. just put like you know all yeah. that's all he did was like it. Yeah, and he, and he had to tell the guys, "Let's be honest." You know, it's he you got know. in trouble. Yeah. They they took him into the office and said you're trying to sabotage. And and what they're trying to get it's from this, so they're stupid. trying to it's cover like you're their trying ass. to sabotage this. Yeah, I <laughs> could have been in a fucking movie, assholes. Yeah. yeah, you have a popular show, and you're going to like say fuck you to all the fans, and like <laughs> you know bring in another actor and re- yeah. Yeah. probably redo the origin well, story again. Last week could have acted with Affleck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's stupid. Actually, um, he acts better than Affleck. Yeah. <laughs> Last week during the Dawn of Justice, the the behind sneak peek mm-hmm. thing with Kevin Smith and uh, I didn't see this. Jeff Johns, apparently there is a cut segment where Kevin Smith goes, "Well, wait a minute. You know, if nothing else, the DC is known for their multiverse. Mm-hmm. Is it possible that these two flashes will enter?" And Jeff Johns said, "Well, the door's open." Mm. So, okay. well, you know well, what? Be... And they cut it out, but yeah. you know, as, as Kevin Smith says on television, oh. when he's towing the party line, <laughs> he says a completely different thing on his podcast, Fat Man on Batman, where he's like, "Man, DC's really fucking up with not putting these." <laughs> in. He's like, "People love this kid right here, and this TV show is so good. Run, Barry, run! Why aren't they combining it? They're really missing an opportunity." <laughs> oh yeah, it's yeah. Uh, Smith. Which is... I totally agree with well, him on and that. Do, we don't know that the the Flash movie movie is going to be Barry Allen, do we? It yeah, it's be, Barry Allen. It it's Barry Allen. Okay. Yeah. Which, if they had made it, like, you know, yeah, well, could they not made it Walt? They can't make it Walt well, less. No, because Barry's got to come yeah. first. And they, yeah, I guess but they've they already, they've introduced Jay Garrick, too. Yeah, they've already, like, blown all their Flash loads, I guess. No, right? what it's going to be is it's going to be the first season of The Flash compressed. It's going to be yeah. Barry Allen's a, a forensic scientist. He gets his powers, and he has to fight the reverse Flash because the reverse Flash killed his mom. And that's what it's going to be because they've always got to put. They don't build up to shit anymore. It's no. like we got to put the biggest, baddest. Well, I know, right? You know, and they that kill we can. him at the end. <laughs> yeah, or so something. So, back. which uh, well, they've been doing that since '89, Batman. Right. Yeah. But at least his story, I kind of. I mean, you know, I didn't know anything about the Joker when I saw that movie because, hmm. yeah. uh, you know, I I'd read some comics, but I didn't become a comic collector till after that movie. So I didn't know. I didn't know that Jack Napier wasn't the Joker. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I guess that was my mm-hmm. understanding of the Batman origin story and the Joker. I knew nothing story about him everything. being the Red Hood or yeah. any of that right. stuff. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, that. I guess when I was yeah nine years old or whatever. That yeah. No, yeah. see, that's, that's the thing. Did, we yeah. did talk about the Killing Joke. 
that's what's going to be messed up because the Killing Joke gave you a definite origin for the Joker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they, they reconned it afterwards. Where he goes, well, sometimes I remember it this way and sometimes I remember well, it that other way. people could do weird Yeah, origins. so they could do whatever, you know. Yeah, they could make him the hitman. They could make him the failed comic. <clears throat> they could make him whatever. Yeah, like in uh, the animated series where he was a hit. He was yeah, a, he was Jack Napier in the animated. Because yeah. it was based more or less off the... The movies. That, that, that cartoon was great. Yeah. That was a really, that was really good. Right. I actually, so. uh, that just reminded me, though, uh, this is, I don't know, maybe a little spoilery. The the Batman game that came out last summer. It's been a while. I started uh, playing night. it. Night. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I started playing it when I got it, and then I got, you know, sidetracked, was playing other stuff, doing other stuff. And I got, I started playing it again, like, two weeks ago. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm only, like, 25% through it or whatever, but... Uh, I have you played it? You played it, didn't you? Uh, my boys have played it. I've okay. watched some stuff. I it. really like some of the. There's like kind of a twist, like in the 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 previous game. Uh, Bat, the Joker dies, mm-hmm. which yeah. I thought was stupid. stupid. Uh, but they found a way to bring him, and technically they, kind of bring him yeah, back. He yeah, he appears in this, but he's not himself. Let's say. Yeah. You know? But uh, they've done some really ingenious. St- I really love the way that they did this in the game. Uh, because you know it's an open world, you're walking around. Oh, I love those movement, Arkham yeah. games. But they have figured out ways to do these like surprise reveals, like where when I, and I'm not even sure how they programmed it, but you know, like where you'll just be walking in a room and you turn around, you know, you're controlling it. It's not a cutscene, and then and the room like changes like from what it just was, and you like enter like a hallucinatory world, and there was one of these scenes where. You walk into a room and there's some a woman sitting in a chair. You see her from behind, and you walk up, and you see and and she stands up and it's Barbara. She goes to the door and the Joker shoots her. It's they play out the scene yeah, from killing where she Jill got. Joke, yeah. And I was like, holy shit! Like it was like so exciting. I, like all of it, I didn't realize I love that what it was. That makes those games. Like they, yeah. it was so amazing. And he was dressed. You know, it looked. The it was like Hawaiian the kill, shirt. It was, yeah, yeah, it was a. Uh, I, I yeah. want I want them to make a Spider Man game. Yeah. Because I, I'll, I'll, every time I'm playing those Arkham games, and especially Arkham City, and I'm s- flying around that city and using the bat or the mm. bat grapple hook and all that, I'm so, I'm like, this would be so cool if it was Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. The, the only problem so and far. And the combat system is so good. Oh in yeah, that. they nailed it. They that's the most perfect fighting. System I know. In the game. I I love it. I yeah. love it. Well, the only thing I dislike so far about it is they uh, paired up Barbara Gordon and Tim Drake. They're an item. Oh. Isn't Barbara Gordon quite a bit older than Tim Drake? Yeah, it's supposed to be Dick Grayson. I don't know where they Why dropped the Why don't they the just ball. make it Dick Grayson? I, don't ask me. Whatever. They dropped the ball somewhere. Nobody respects so. the dick. It's true. <laughs> That's so. on a t-shirt. Copyright me. No respects Nobody the respects dick. the dick. That's not a scramble. Just a t-shirt. Nightwing going, <laughs> you know, dear. <laughs> no one respects the dick. No, it's just a little Robin in the corner going, fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't think DC will sign off on that one. Kevin Smith was talking about has announced a new TV show called Hollyweed. I heard him talking it about it. It says this. it's clerks in a pot store. Yeah. Now, unless it is truly clerks in a pot store, I probably don't care. <laughs> and <laughs> it's, it's got, Dante um, and Randall. Uh, or Jay's come into some money. The other <laughs> he's the manager. Devon Dion Cole. He's on. Uh, he was a writer on Conan O'Brien. You guys okay. ever watch Conan O'Brien? I, no. watch Conan O'Brien. I know who he is. Current incarnation of yeah. Conan. O'Brien? Yeah. No, I haven't. I... Okay, never. Here's good. Well, if you guys, don't. what about it? He's a writer on that. Yeah, yeah. and he'll come out good. and do segments uh, sometimes. And he's he's on the on the crew on yeah. Hollywood. So, uh, he's like the coast. I think he's the other guy that runs the store. Oh. With him. Yeah, yeah, he, he's Wait, pretty funny. So, well, with who is Kevin Smith? Kevin Smith on the show. show. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. So, I guess I didn't. Yeah, I saw the the link, but I didn't follow it. Is he writing, directing, oh, producing I'm sure too? Or, I'm sure I don't know exactly show. what capacity. They only shot a pilot, so yeah. yeah it's well, a he's pilot. directing because he was talking about editing it, and when yeah. he directs, he edits too. Okay. So, <laughs> now you guys ready for your own holographic assistant? Yes. It Not looks really. like it's a coffee maker. <laughs> <laughs> I that's mean, not very little... assistant wise, right? What, I well, mean, I, I think guess... it's Wi-Fi. Like you could say, pull up this or play this music. Yeah, hey, so holographic so. assistant, like make me coffee inside <laughs> yourself. Uh, now, 
with it being Japanese and an anime girl, I wouldn't want to know where that goes. <laughs> right. It would probably go to her going, hee hee hee, wa And then she spreads her butt cheeks and coffee comes yeah, out. Probably. And then she'd be like, whoa! No, she spins. <laughs> and as she spins, there's a hologram of coffee and it fills up the cup. I don't know. But yes. It's... There'd be like big eyes and little exclamation points. And we'd say, so kawaii! Yeah. Sold. <laughs> it's, it's only a matter of time before somebody... I mean, apparently they're making sex robots, so... Yeah. Sex robot, sex robot, <laughs> sex but, uh, robot, sex robot. But you can't have sex with a hologram, unfortunately. No. Yeah. They can get freaky. Yeah. Too VR bad technology. about that, because I would have fucked Tupac Shakur by now. <laughs> <laughs> Someday you will, Matt. Someday. No, you're more likely to get bang-ganged by a gorilla, or gorillas. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the group. Yeah, well, <laughs> it could be worse. <laughs> oh. uh, Walking Dead's Lorne Cohan joins Batman. Ver- I don't know why they call it joins because she's apparently been in it the whole time. Yeah, uh, as uh, Martha Wayne, she's a big lead on Walking Dead. Martha she's, Wayne, uh, so she's playing Bat's Maggie. Dad, yeah. mom. Yeah, she's Maggie on Walking. Yeah, she's playing Bat's mom. Yeah, so, they keep. Uh... I got a good feeling about this character. I think she's gonna make it out of this film alive. <laughs> I look, yeah. I look forward to playing her for years to come. It's like everybody went <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out and they killed Gwen Stacy. They're like, why would you have to kill Gwen Stacy? Gwen Stacy doesn't have to die. And I was like, guys, she signed up to play Gwen <laughs> Stacy. That's like signing on to be a red shirt on Star Trek. <laughs> Your whole purpose is to one day die. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know when it's coming, but you know it's It's going to happen. It's... Yeah. Right. And this I is the same see... way. It's like playing Batman's parents. Go- your <laughs> right. whole purpose is to die. On the other hand, I, I would understand if Kevin Costner was upset about uh, his Pa Kent. Uh, yeah, because he was yeah, that was bullshit. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, well, what, what reality did Pa Kent die in? Silver a Age, Golden Age. Yeah, I guess so. It was. It was the death back, of his parents yeah. that made him move away from Smallville as Superboy and moved to Metropolis as Superman. Mm. So. It wasn't until eighty. Symbolism. It wasn't until that after is so the crisis. so stupid because anybody be like, okay, wait a minute. So there was a super boy in Smallville. <laughs> okay, now Clark says he's from Smallville. <laughs> now wait, like, Clark moved to Metropolis. Okay. Now there's a Superman in Metropolis. But he has glasses. This is just crazy. <laughs> You're man. right. I don't know okay. what I'm thinking. Let, let, let's re reconfigure this. Uh, Superman dies at the hands of Doomsday. Yes. Superman comes back. He now has a mullet. <laughs> yeah, right. I remember. Weeks later, it's What's, like, well, but where's black but where's Clark, Clark Kent been all this time? Well, apparently, during the fight with Doomsday, a lot of buildings come down, oh. and they were still going through the wreckage. He had a, he had found us like a bunker, and they they were able to pull him out of the bunker, mm. and now he has long hair. Yeah, which he pulls back into a ponytail. The day of Clark Kent's wedding, he gets a haircut. The very next day, <laughs> Superman's out and about, and he had got a haircut. Yeah. You know, it's little things. It's yeah. little things. At least Dude. the Black Canary wears a wig. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. I, you're, I, I, I will, don't. Superman is the stupidest character because of how yeah. nobody ever figures it out. I mean, you can talk about, like, well, who else? What other billionaire with a, with a vendetta remember, against crime lives in Gotham City? Do you remember the time traveler on Lois and Clark? No. Uh, this time traveler, I, I, it's Lois I, and Clark. I, it's goofy. I was so hit and miss watching Lois and Clark. It wasn't even funny. Well, this Lois is is with this time traveler, and he's just an asshole. He's the bad guy, I think. Mm. And he goes, "Did you know in the future you're as revered as Superman? Children look up to you. You have a cereal named after you. <laughs> Except there's one question that keeps popping up: How dumb." Was she? And he takes a pair of glasses. He goes, look, I'm Clark Kent. Takes them off and goes, no, I'm Superman. <laughs> no, I'm Clark Kent. <laughs> now, was this uh, this time traveler, was it Rip Hunter? No. Okay. No, it was not that's Rip a, That's Hunter. a good segue, oh, yeah. though, because we're going to talk oh, about right. Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, we're like, we're, we're, we're like 53 minutes in. Okay. Yeah, oh. We haven't even touched on the we got to talk Because we promised them we'd talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Flash was good. Yeah. Oh, Flash I thought they're off to a great... St- and I Arrow, love it. I enjoyed Flash this is good. I just, the first Arrow everything is... episode. I oh, me, Arrow I have a theory. Good. I have Uh-oh. a theory. I've told Nick this theory. Okay. And I'm going to put it out here so it is on record for when it happens. Okay. Okay. You guys ready? Jay Garrick is Zoom. I think so. There I we agree. go. Yeah. I, I. Well, I don't know about. 
I don't know. I think I've like thrown. Yeah, I'm I'm bored. Yeah, I think Jane Garrick is Zoom. I'm still going with. It's not Jay Garrick. Does he know though? Is it like I think it might be a split personality. Thing? I yeah. don't think that Jay Garrick knows he's Zoom. I don't think so. It's possible. I think it's going to come down to he doesn't want his speed back. Well, I, it's a mental block. Cause if you remember mm-hmm. last season, Barry kind of blocked. He got his speed back, but he mentally blocked it till yeah, he needed it. Yeah, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the speed does come out when he zoom. No? Yeah. Well, well maybe that's why see. they're setting that up because that's what they've been saying. That uh, Caitlin has been saying, oh, it's mental, or she's been doing secret tests. He's mm-hmm. yeah, he is trying to prevent her or anyone from giving him and his we, speed and we back. We found out in this episode that him. he might be sick and dying, yeah. but he doesn't want to do anything about it. Now, why mm-hmm. doesn't he want to do anything about it? Maybe because he knows he's Zoom, and if he dies, the evil dies with him on a subconscious well, level. Yeah. I think the reason he's sick I'm on board. is I think, I think it's the Deadpool theory. The reason Jay Garrett's sick is because when he's got his speed, mm-hmm. he has accelerated healing, and that's what mm-hmm. was keeping it at bay. Well, maybe. Yeah. He doesn't have a yeah. speed now. That's so what I was it's... wondering, because in his universe, he does some kind of an experiment that causes him to gain super speed, right? Yeah. So what, maybe, was he doing an experiment to cure himself of some disease well, or something? Well, it was, he was using hard water water particles and whatnot, and okay. who knows? Which is random. Just, yeah, Which you're not supposed random. to drink, but... Well, well yeah. no, it, it like, I exploded, he or he, he fell asleep. I think he's <laughs> like smoke so thirsty. Fell asleep like, like, and, like, like, like. and inhaled it all night long but uh i'm still thinking it's going to be barry and zoom and zoom's going to be winning nearly kill barry and then jay will snap out of it mm-hmm. and have his speed back. okay we'll see who it is we'll be because yeah. uh, jay's too like good of a jay. character i know but zoom. it'll be so crazy for caitlin to have. now a male <laughs> that's what drives her to become uh, killer, killer frost, frost. No, because uh, no. it's not well. It's he, Earth two, Kate, Caitlin. Oh. Is Killer Frost with oh. Death Storm? We covered this last week. Mm-hmm. A male was at a convention or on a podcast or something, and then make a comment that he's coming back as Death Storm, and he gets to kill a main character of the show. Mm-hmm. So Ooh. I'm assuming it might. I, I don't see him killing anybody. Maybe I'm th- probably Wells or something. Who's Death Storm? Uh, he's Firestorm. I got he's it. He's the evil Firestorm I got from it. Earth two. He's gonna kill Joe. Joe, does Joe die? No, I bet she kills Joe. Joe West. I don't know. And that's go, that's going to bring Wally West around to being a hero. What about Iris? Does no. Iris die? No, at some because point? she's, no, she's got to marry still, Barry. Because we still want her to get with Barry, so oh. they won't yeah. kill her. Do we? Or or it's going to or he's going to kill uh, Barry's new girlfriend. No, she's, she's leaving. But she's left. But she's, left, but yeah. she, uh, yeah, she's leaving town. Say. Okay, well I'm going with Joe. He's going to kill Joe. Or right. or Flash is dead. Oh yeah, Flash is. No, but see, he's not his main of character. Now, right. see, that's the thing. Someone has shown pictures with the guy that played the original Flash in the 90s, who's yep. Barry Allen's dad in this, and Zoom, and they have similar eyes. I mean, their eyes mm. look the same. So, And he is a bigger guy than Barry. Mm. So, yeah. uh, But Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, you know, yeah. Okay. We're... It, it, I don't know. I can't. I don't know how many episodes they have. Maybe like nine or something like that. I thought yeah, it was they a got decent like, uh, start. I know. I heard an interview with Brandon Routh, and he was talking about it, and it's like thirteen or something. Yeah, like that. and I thought it was okay. a decent start. I thought it was good. Was yeah. it you know it's blow right. blow you it's away? No, but it's because you already know. I, these I'm kind of upset that like nothing really happened. Like, right. like you think stuff's happening, but it's really not happening. Well, Hawk Girl and Guy's son died. Yeah, that yeah. Means something. And he called. They call us. You're just, it's one just of those. Heartless. He died, and because of them. Yeah. So. And Boba but Fett showed up. Yeah, Boba, Boba Fett. Fett showed up. Uh, Kronos, who is a, a DC character, not. A I bounty like Rip Hunter, Hunter though. Like a, that character's great. Yeah. No, it's Doctor Who. The only thing they didn't yes. do is get in the ship and go. Well, it's bigger on the inside. It is, <laughs> yeah. He even at one point is carrying a, a doctor bag. Shooter. I mean, Doctor Who doesn't have a doctor bag, but I feel like they intentionally were making he's references British, to doctors. He's, they got a. A Doctor Who alum um, to play uh, him. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's Rory. Oh, yeah, Rory. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he's like carrying he the doctor better bag. He pulls he out a thing that vaguely looks like a sonic screwdriver no, and he a, starts yeah, like poking a... at the wall with it. <laughs> like, uh, I think, I, yeah. You know what else is crazy? It's Gideon. Gideon's the ship's Gideon. computer. Yeah. yeah. So, which okay. is also the guy that talked to, isn't that who talked to Barry? And that was the one that Reverse Flash was using it's, too? Yeah, it's the, 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 the handheld AI. that Reverse Flash brought that's back crazy. from the future. That's crazy. That's all tying together. That's right. so cool. I was wondering But here's about the deal, though. Was, that, now, yeah. so now, the question is, is this the Gideon that Professor Zoom brought back? And I don't know. Star is it the Labs, same computer? Or is this Gideon going to become Zooms in the future? I don't know. Right. You or, know, so. Well, I well thought, Barry created you know, it. 
Oh. Didn't didn't he say like that's why I have to do whatever you tell me because you created me? Didn't they that say that in the first? Or is season? it going to be a time loop that he's like, oh yeah, I made so it would have this. to be Gideon after. <laughs> so that means Gideon would know. Yeah. Or what, or maybe you know Barry created something that became Gideon. Gideon. Maybe yeah. I don't know. But I also thought, what if it's Gideon is just like Siri, and it's just like a. I think that might be AI that all these into, AI computers you know, are Gideon. Yeah, yeah. maybe. I, I, I was, don't know. But but I, why would they have the same AI know. hundreds of years in know. the future? I don't know because yeah. Rip Hunter's only like 150 years in the future, or mm. only, not even oh, that, right. like 100. 15? It's 22 something, isn't it? There was 21, 20, like 21, 33, something, something like that. Like that. Where, I think they kept talking about 150 years from yeah, now. Where Zoom's from, or Reverse Flash is like 300 years in the future. Yeah. So why but would they wouldn't use the same AI? Free. I don't know. Unless he had a sentimental attachment. It's like, this was the computer owned by the Flash. I've got to have it. Right. I don't know. But anyway. Uh, so our roster, let's go down the roster. Yep. It's the Atom. Yep. Brandon Routh, who every time I see him on screen, I just like, can't we just make him TV Superman? <laughs> Let's make him TV no, Superman, no. and then we can put him in the Justice League. There we go. He, he wasn't the He doesn't have enough ass. Superman. I, 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 uh, he wasn't the worst part of that movie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. He wasn't. I always thought the girl that played Lois Lane was the worst yeah. part of that movie. Or him fathering kids out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knocking up Lois and having him anyway, for so, space. <laughs> so the Adam. And then we got Firestorm. Yeah. Dr. Stein and uh, not Robbie Amell. The other. Uh, uh, Jax. Guy? Jax. That's, yeah. I don't. I'm not as familiar. What was they it? Just whatever. You, hey, right. Yeah. They, whatever. Rufy, you slipped that kid. I want some. Oh, I have no idea what you're. No, hey, hey, I ain't judging. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, so, he was only in like one episode, right? They kind of introduced him. Yeah, pretty then, much. Yeah, that's like, why I don't know much about again. him because yeah. he, they. It, yeah, I forgot about that. He whole was like thing, the guy actually. that Dr. Stein had to uh, merge with because. Uh, Amel wanted to leave the show apparently, or which something. I don't know yeah. why, but whatever. Um, then you got. Captain Cold and Heat Wave. Yep. Uh, White Canary. Yep. Which she should be called Dingy Gray Canary. <laughs> I, what is up with that suit? Like Lesbo like... Canary. Lesbo <laughs> Lizzie Canary. Oh. Canary. I, I was talking about her costume. Oh, okay. <laughs> A slutty, dirty, dirty girl costume. No, no, it, no, her, <laughs> no. Like, it looks. It good. is not white. It's, it's not white. It's, it's like off an off gray. gray. Dingy, or off white. It looks yeah. dirty. Like it, it does, does look, look dirty. dirty. I don't know. Okay, so why can't they just make a white and costume? Hawkman and Hawk Hawkman girl. and Hawk Girl, who were so uneventful that I forgot about them, even though they were the focus of the episode. Yeah, I don't like those characters. I, I like that we're seeing Hawkman, but I'm not really attached to either of them. Yeah. Well, because they ha- they've only been in what two other episodes. I, yeah, you know they haven't like, got to so develop like, it. Like he's like he's like I am handsome prick. Yeah, and every time she's like, I'm kind of hot Latina, but teeth, teeth, teeth. <laughs> That's all I can see. Anytime she's around, hey, I'm like, look at my, my teeth don't go in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she got some of them fixed. Uh, the first, if you go back, the first time they show her, the end of the season one of Flash, she had a hell of a gap. I think. And they I went know, back and that's fixed not what I'm it. talking about. Like, yes, she's so, I know she's, she's so attractive, but those teeth don't go into her. Yeah. It's just like you want to, like, okay, all right, let's just. Can you just push those? They're just, just, just saw the them lip, down. Girl, the, the lips go together. Let's just. <laughs> I'm, they still haven't. Not one person has goes go, has gone. Where do those wings go? <laughs> yeah. where, where, you know, even the atoms, not like, is it a subatomical thing? Is and it I don't a... like. I don't like that the atom is basically Iron Man, but he shrinks. I, it, yeah, it bugs right. me. I don't know why he can't just be the atom that shrinks. You know what I mean? Well, maybe at some point he'll figure out how to condense his technology and. But they, it's like they clearly made Iron Man. It's like yes, I'm like, uh, why did right. you? I mean, less it less uh, me. charismatic. Iron Man. Now, real quick, who is Rip Hunter's dad? Dun, dun, dun. Um, Mr. Hunter. Yeah, the, wasn't he like a coach or something? Booster Gold. Oh, yeah, he was oh. Coach Hunter. <laughs> Booster Gold is Rip, Rip Hunter's, Hunter's dad. Son. Yeah, her dad. I didn't yes. know that. Yes. Oh my gosh, could we get Booster Gold in this show? It's oh, possible. that would be amazing. Oh, remember Booster Gold come back? He's a time traveler. Uh, he's dude. a time traveler. Oh. Right. But yeah, he is Booster Gold's son, hmm. so that would be. I, I'm kind of curious on what we could see in this show. Um, so far Dinosaurs. they've said that uh, Damien Dark's going to be in it. Okay. Hmm. Um, the oh well, Vandal Savage. I Vandal can, Savage. Yeah, Vandal. Yeah. yeah. I I've not been able. I can never say her name. In the 70s, mm-hmm. they brought back the Doom Patrol. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? 
Okay, the original yeah, like Robot Man. Man um, okay, the original Doom Patrol was Robot Man, Elastic Girl, no. uh, Negative Man, and Chief. And then they threw Beast, Beast Boy, Boy was in. in there for a while. Beast Boy was yeah. That's amazing. That they keep calling him Beast Boy these days when he was Changeling in the Teen Titans. Oh, but I anyway, know. Uh, Beast Boy and Mento was also you know part timers. They died supposedly. In the seventies, they wanted to bring back the Doom Patrol. You know, Robot Man had survived enough that they could rebuild him. His brain was fine. And now, it, which came first, the Fantastic Four or Doom Patrol come first? Because they are very similar. That's a good question. It, it's Doom one Patrol of those, back. I think, uh, the FF come first, then Doom Patrol. Because what happened was, everyone would always say, well, the X-Men are ripping off the Doom Patrol. And then, everyone, oh yeah, well, well, the Doom Patrol's ripping, ripping off, off the, the Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. You know, <laughs> they're very similar. <laughs> yes, but but it was the Chief's wife mm -hmm. uh, called Celsius. She could shoot fire from one hand, ice from the other. Uh, that was uh, a uh, hyper dumb. Uh, was that? A man that uh, could control, like he had energy blasts, could fly. They called him Tempest. What was the character? He was a, he fought Spider Man a lot in Marvel Team Up. Uh, Equinox. Equinox, yeah. the hypodermic man, or whatever. <laughs> not hypothermic man. That, but then there was a uh, there was shot a, fire out of one side and ice out of the other. Just the same thing. Uh, <laughs> there was an, a negative woman. And technically, what she was it always was, nagging on her husband. And he negative could never man, do anything right. Negative man had gone up and he was a test pilot. He went up in the atmosphere. He was exposed to technically cosmic, cosmic rays. Cosmic rays. Come Ooh. down. That's was, not fan, ripping off Fantastic Four no, at all. Yeah. <laughs> Comes down. He was radioactive, so he had to wear special bandages. Uh, you know, lead like oh, yeah, that guy. And yeah. he could project like an energy being out of his body. Yeah, that's so. But like Doctor Strange, cool. his original form was left. Inert behind. Yes, and he could only be out for sixty seconds. He had to return to his body in Which sixty seconds, or no the energy good. would start to <laughs> dissipate, or whatever. Yeah. Okay. He looks like the Invisible Man from the original yeah, Patrol. Was dance. captured yeah. on an island by their enemy, and he said, "Listen, I'll make you a deal. I'm either gonna blow you up, or I'm gonna blow up this little fishing village of people you've never met before." You know, oh, and, fuck and those guys. Blah, yeah, blah. and that's technically, you know, I'll show the world what cowards you are and blah, blah, blah. And they said, nope, hit the button, you know, we'll die. And they get blown up. Well, years later, this one, this. How do we know? That could have been a fishing village full of, like, Hitlers. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, right, probably. This, uh, Is this Argentina? This uh, <laughs> female Russian, I think she was a, uh, uh, what they what they call their, their uh, what do they call their astronauts? Cosmonaut. Cosmonaut. Cosmonaut, yeah. I think she was a cosmonaut. She was a the colonel. Universe, yeah, seventies a woman colonel in the yeah, in the Russian oh, that army. Happened all the time. But America. she steals a, a experimental plane to take to America to defect. Mm -hmm. It crash lands exactly where the Doom Patrol <laughs> went down, and she ends up releasing the energy being. Like the body had died, but the energy being had been kept like underwater and trapped in lead or some shit, and it possesses her. Oh. So now she's negative woman. Does she get wrapped in bandages? Well, at first she doesn't because she can just she more or less like energizes her own body, and then and then it starts to escape. So they have to wrap her in mm. bandages to keep it in. Yeah, is that what they're per per even though it's a dead well, no. man's soul trying to get away? Well, we need to keep yeah. it attached to you, <laughs> just like a woman. <laughs> but even in death, why are you always going out? You need to stay here. You need to stay here with me. I I'm a negative woman. I only go out for 60 seconds at a time, woman. <laughs> what? You can't stay with but me for 60 seconds? It's so bad? Val, her, oh, I can never pronounce her last name. It's something Russian. Val, she will be in Legends of Tomorrow. Huh. Ron Bottle White doing so it. I don't know. Pre negative she, woman, negative well, woman. Well, I don't know if she's negative woman. I don't know if this is before she defects. I don't know if it's going to be after. She later gets cured because the original negative man comes back and takes. The energy yeah. being back. And she ends up being part of this thing called Checkmate. It's kind of like the... Ah, the chess playing superheroes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of <laughs> like uh, like the DC's uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh. You know, uh, kind of their own branch organization that does right. shit around the world. It doesn't sound nearly as cool. No. Yeah, it's a dumb name for but, it. Uh, Is it an acronym? Because that's a really oh, long shit. acronym. No, but what they do... <laughs> no, Checkmate, what they do is they're... No, for... they're... Uh, <laughs> They're field agents or knights. Oh, so and it's then, Kingsman. Uh, <laughs> and, and then their higher-ups is like, she'll be the white queen, and uh, uh, Amanda Waller was the black queen. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. 
You know, and that's how it is. They're I'm done the by chess queen pieces. In your world, yeah, huh? What about Bishop? Was he in there? No, no. <laughs> Bishop's a dick. Let's not even get into that, Mary Sue. <laughs> But he's a time traveler that knows everything and is awesome. Oh, did, do you know how that ended? No, the whole I don't point know was Rook. in yeah, the future. Rook, uh, in the future, uh, Bishop and his guys find you know the X Mansion and see this video of Jean Grey going. We never knew. You know, we shouldn't have let him in. You know, he was under our did, nose the Bishop whole time. And he thought he ends up going back in time. He thinks it's Gambit. Yeah, mm. I knew that. That was you a big know, thing that he thought. Professor was X was the first to die. It turns out it's it's Bishop. Bishop is yeah. the traitor. <laughs> Bishop is the. That makes sense. He goes back in time to stop the traitor. It turns he out is he's the, the traitor. traitor. Yeah. Mm. So mm. I remember Bishop. That was yeah. That the was nineties at its worst, right there. <laughs> He had a handkerchief around his, but it and was a mullet. badass. A mullet. A Jerry Cool, yeah. a Jerry, Cor uh, Jerry uh, Curl, Curl mullet. I mullet, yeah. He remind, I always thought he he was like uh, and the big vigilante. Guns. He, was, he was Lorenzo Lamas in an in <laughs> X-Men costume. Uh, oh, he's Renegade. It was yeah, an yeah, X that's it. That's what it was. Renegade. Was the, he was like, they were like mutant cops from uh, the future. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, another uh, premiere this week that I didn't realize was coming so soon was uh, Agent Carter came back. Yeah, that was weird. I kind of watched a little bit of it. Yeah, they it's, did an encore on Sunday, and we actually DVR'd it. Like we, I didn't even know. Apparently, it premiered this last week. It I premiered it the like, same day as Flash. Yeah, yeah that's okay. the problem. They did the Captain America seventy mm. fifth, and they did it on. So Marvel's like, what? What you gonna premiere Flash? Well, fuck you. There we go. I'm. Yeah. Gonna, they are trying to check. DC and, and everyone. Yeah. And you thought they learned their lesson because they moved S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. S.H.I.E.L.D. was up against the Flash. Oh, yeah. And then they moved S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> that's, well, one, that's one fight they lose because right. the Flash is really Too good. But Agent good. Carter, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the first season, and I feel like they're off to a really good start. It's, I like, the, so far, even better. This first Now, this is supposed to tie last into last Doctor week. Strange somehow. And it yeah, might really? be a little, something small. Hmm. Well, well but they had some weird stuff in. going on in this yeah, one. Yeah, this, I don't, do you guys see this? I saw some of it. I haven't got yeah, to watch it Yeah, they have, like, this uh, zero matter like yeah, it's, that it's one a lot was more, glowing. Yeah, yeah. There's there's like a lot more sort of strange. And stuff it froze going the on. water around yeah. her in like the middle of summer. Okay. And she glows. And right. like he, they're trying to like raise the temperature of her so they can do an autopsy and they can't. <laughs> and she starts glowing from the inside. Last thing I saw was her going get a chisel and they yeah mm. right. Yeah, well, yeah, it was like the two hour. It was two episodes back to back. It was like a two hour. I'd character. like to see it. Uh, and was yeah, there like a, worth you said Captain America's seventy? Yeah, they the, had a thing. They had a oh, history. Okay. Of Captain America was on right before Agent Carter. Really? Premiered. Yeah, they needed to work on their marketing campaign. They'll yeah, see. I know. Well, they were going up against the Flash. It's, yeah, yeah. That's the one you can't do that. That is the one area where DC is knocking it out of the ballpark. No. You can't compete. You can't True. put up a ho hum television show against that. Yeah. I don't no, know. I did, did they go into Agent Carter? Agent Agent oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. How much did they go into the comics of the World War II? Did they go into that much other than he appeared? You know, I don't know. I didn't because I was watching the Flash. I only watched it during the. Commercials. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you know, sure. I know Captain America didn't have a hey slap a Jap and buy war bonds <laughs> cover <laughs> like a cat or like a Superman did, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but I'm sure he had some pretty yeah. Because that it, way, it, it, I'm sure Superman had very good reasons <laughs> on why we should slap a Jap. <laughs> yeah, to buy U.S. war bonds, <laughs> right? Now, Marvel was known, I don't think DC did it as much, but Marvel was known for drawing the Japanese, like, yellow monsters. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, oh, uh, the yellow claw, and this, uh, it's like, okay. <laughs> different time, people. Different yeah, it time. was, it was, uh, what I what I did see is when they were, like, talking about Captain America and 9-11, and they were like, yeah, it was real important, we had to have Captain America in the con. They start showing panels, I'm like, wait a minute. That's Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2, number 36. I was like, this isn't even from a Captain America no, comic. comic. <laughs> they had relaunched Captain America right after 9-11, and it started off with him being, technically he was there doing, helping with the cleanup as Steve Rogers. Mm -hmm. He still had a secret identity, and I can't remember what it come down to at the end of the issue. He was Captain America, and the film crew was on him, and he more or less said, he just took off his mask and said, I'm Steve Rogers, you gutless son of a bitches you want to come after somebody you come after me or something like that you would think and they were talking about like that was captain america became an important character at that because yeah. and i have to yeah 
He would be. He should have. He should have. Yeah. He should have been an important character at that point. And then Civil War. Oh. Civ- I know. <laughs> Oh gosh! Captain America is one of those more. characters like Superman, where the, well, he's too perfect, and he's you know, no I one's like that him pure, that way. and no one's that naive, and no one's that. I, well, that what makes the character great. I know. I you it, know he wants he, he is, wants to inspire you to he be is better. Unwa- he's not Iron Man. Iron Man has shades of gray. Iron Man can be corrupted. How many? Captain America can't be well. Fifty fifty shades of gray is what yeah. Iron Man has. So hot, I know. or three red, white, and blue. Come yeah, on now. and yeah, and <laughs> Captain America. He's just not that. He is a, a Boy Scout. He is truth, justice, American way, like Superman should be, and yeah. you know, standing up for what is right. He is the moral compass, and that's what he checklist: is. apple yeah. pie, baseball, I, slapping a jab. Yeah. <laughs> Buying war bonds. Cap- Captain America in the Marvel comics. See, Superman, you can badmouth Superman in DC comics. Oh, Superman's an asshole. And someone will say, hey, no, he saved my brother or sister. In and, and Marvel, mm-hmm. if, you, if if some young punk goes, yeah, Cap's just an old has You shut your fucking mouth. Yeah, someone, you know, Hawkeye's threatening to kick your ass. Well, you watch no, your mouth. He is, <laughs> you don't uh, talk that way about Cap. He is the patron saint of the Marvel Universe, oh, yeah. Captain America. You can't. I, I, mm. uh, even old man Steve now, because he's a uh, old. He's know, still which out I there. Hate, but we're gonna get rid of that. So. Hopefully, yeah, soon. Yeah. I don't yeah. hate that he's old man. I hate that he can't be Captain America anymore. What point? Well, I mean, yeah. Um, it happens. Yep. Okay. Yeah, but... All right. We have anything to wrap up? Any Star Wars news? No. no. Uh, well, the episode eight got pushed back. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. supposed to we, come out in summer 2018, and it's getting pushed back to. Christmas. And they came out with Ray toys. Like, are they going to now? Well, yeah. They, there was Ray toys There's out Ray there toys just getting bought up. You couldn't no. find them. Although, it turns out that might not have been these marketing people's mm-hmm. fault. There was a a memo that it was from Disney that they didn't they, they didn't want Ray toys. Right. Because I saw, that's what, what I saw. boy's going to want to buy a Ray toy? Right. Well, that's, she's the main character of the freaking movie. I, yeah, I know, I know it's that. It's such an absurd... Yeah, but that's that's what I saw. They said executives told them not to that no boy wants a female character in his toy set, which is bullshit. And I yeah. thought, and looking at the toy set, it's like you know Chewie, uh, Han Solo, uh, what Stormtrooper? I don't know. It's like six characters. It's and Finn, Finn, yeah, Chewbacca, Poe, Poe Dameron, uh, Stormtrooper. Kylo Ren mm. and Kylo Ren, yeah. somebody else. And then, well, yes. yeah, the, that's the thing. I was like, okay. I so, think it's a TIE fighter pilot. N- yes, yeah. it's like generic TIE fighter pilot. And it's like, you're going to put generic TIE fighter pilot instead of the star of the movie. Yep. Because you say that boys don't want a female. I'll like, tell you, Hasbro has that learned their lesson <laughs> because there are now. And uh, they are one of the ones that it, actually And about did get every Transformer line, there's females now. Yeah. In uh, in Marvel Legends, mm-hmm. there's about two females in every wave. Yeah, I, they've done. They're yeah. doing better. So yeah, so they're yeah, really doing a lot pushing. Better. It's... Right. It just yeah, but I guess in the article it was saying that this is actually fairly common, like in the Guardians of the Galaxy toy sets. They yeah, left Gamora, out Gamora, they, they... and no, they left they out didn't. Black Widow and some of the Avengers toy sets. Nope, they didn't. I don't know. That's yeah, I didn't know for sure. But that's well, what the I can was tell saying, you this but... as have by having bought Power Ranger toys before. There's about 18 million Red Ranger figures. Those, uh, the the pink or yellow or blue or whatever one is the chick, is like one per case. Yeah, yeah. They make it just yeah. so you can have the full team. They don't, hmm. they don't think boys are gonna ask for the girl. Right. Okay, I don't understand that. Now, see now, you that... got, I, I've got a, I got a vent now mm. because we're talking <laughs> Look what toys you real quick. They're really starting to push the new 52. Mm-hmm. Uh, up until before this year, well, I should say 2015, any Superman cards, like Father's Day cards, gift wrap paper, all that was the classic Superman. It almost, some of them are even like John Byrne Superman yeah. sometimes. So they are, they're transitioning into the, uh, got the high collar, no underwear on the outside. No Superman. underwear on the outside. What a- I know. Batman's changed too. Yeah, That's fine. Yeah, yeah. The toys are going the same way. What gets me is you'll look and you'll see a 12-inch New 52 Superman. Mm-hmm. High collar, no underwear on the outside. Next to it is Bizarro, but it's Silver Age Bizarro. He's in the old costume, yeah, not in the new under- costume with the underwear on the outside. Well, that's because he's all backwards. He doesn't <laughs> yeah, know what backwards. to do. Bizarro put underwear on outside. outside. Yeah, there you go. 
Not but, only backwards, but also inside out. Yeah. Or or it'll be a new 52 Superman, and you move it, and right behind it is electric blue Superman from the 90s. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? Superman well, sells. Electric, yeah. that's where he had like the zigzag belt. What it was, is he had lost his powers. Electric. The The sun went out, he slowly lost his powers. So when the sun come back, it took him 18 years to save up enough energy the first time to be mm. Superman. Well, he wants to get his powers back fast. Right. So he does all these funky-ass experiments to get his powers back quicker. They end up, I think, teleporting him to the center of the sun. Whoops. It's like, well, this will either jumpstart my powers. Or I'll die. Or I'll die. And it's like, yeah, don't don't ask you know, your wife about this. You know, I kind of might be like, well, you know, retirement. Yeah. Let's see, center of the sun and incinerate. <laughs> or yeah. well, like, just, you know, and maybe they'll come back. I don't know. Yeah. Go so, to Mercury first for a little while. Yeah. Just hang yeah, out, actually, yeah, that statue. would have been a little safer. Just move then, closer to the sun. Kinda, don't yeah. go directly to the center of it. Right. But so he's back. He's, you know, stronger than ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then he starts doing stuff like shorten shit out because he overexposed his cells. Mm-hmm. His cells now have so much energy <laughs> that it's starting to change him, and he becomes an energy being. Uh, and he has to wear a containment oh yeah, suit that. to hold his energy together. That was so dumb. I remember seeing pictures of that. I didn't yes. know what was going on. There was a on. red and there was a blue one, wasn't there? Well, what happened he is there was a villain who decided, hey, he's energy now. I can disperse him. Mm-hmm. And as long as I keep him in different containers, he mm-hmm. can't come back together. So he, he put like 100 different containers in two different spots. That It bursts out. One reforms as a red Superman. One reforms as a blue mm-hmm. Superman. But what happens is whenever he tries to solidify himself, solidif- solidify, solidify himself, yeah. he becomes Clark Kent, but he's completely human. So he can stub his toe, he can get hurt, huh. but then he becomes energy Superman. And then he marries Lois Lane, but she dies in an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh God. You that's, had better, his, that's better no. than dying of radiation okay. poisoning. How, spider, how did they bring cum. Superman back to normal? Because now you have a red energy Superman, a blue energy Superman. Big crisis happens. Blue Superman starts traveling around the world <laughs> oh, clockwise. Why red energy Superman the is at one. is in the is, is at the core going the opposite Genius. direction. How could that not work? It makes all so much you know sense. doesn't it stop the Earth? <laughs> well, all you know is it it it, it solves everything, <laughs> but Superman disappears. Next thing you know, he crash lands in Smallville on the farm miraculously, wow. whole nuts. again Shit. as old Superman. Old time, you know, original Superman. So, yeah. You think they quit trying to make such drastic changes to characters? Who was the. That's uh, just great writing. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Who was the news anchor on Saturday Night Live? Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald. Wow, you got that on the first try. He goes, they go. Well, he was the news anchor on Saturday Night Live. Well, after Kevin uh, Nealon. Kevin Nealon. You had. uh, No. no. uh, Dave, Dennis Miller. Dennis, Dennis Miller. Miller. I know, it goes back. But anyway, it was, who did you, who'd you just say? Also, uh, uh, McDonald. Now I forgot. Uh, Norm McDonald. Norm, Norm McDonald. He goes, yes, and after so many years, Superman has changed his look. Why, they ask? And it shows a picture. Not gay enough. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That was the mullet Superman, wasn't well, it? No, was, no, it was electric blue because Superman. Because oh, okay. it was 90s, and yes. they were losing to Marvel. Again. But then Marvel was managed so poorly that it didn't no. matter because they could be an edgy and they could have 100,000 X-Books and it wouldn't matter because when you're blowing your money like crazy. Wait, did you say X-Books? Oh, X-Books. X-Men, X-Men, like X-Men yeah. yeah. Not like X-rated books. Yeah. I just thought no, that was some that kind was of Hustler a, like a currency. Totally different thing. Uh, but yeah, y- if you're not managing it right, you can oh, sh- they, almost shit the whole company yeah. down the toilet. They did. They had to sell it to a toy, toy company. Toy biz. They a toy s- company bought Marvel Comics. Yeah. So, and then Marvel came back and started doing good. Yeah, and and well, kind of, kind of, it was turned around and Marvel kind of owned Toy Biz. Anyway, oh, I have one. I, I just got a text from some Uh-oh. cousins. My cousin Paul. Identical cousins? Uh, no, unfortunately. Uh, what was that? Who was that? Patty Toby. Show. Oh, okay. What was Doby Gillis? Was he related to Patty? Doby Gillis something? was the show that uh, that Scooby Doo ripped off. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> With uh, Gilligan. Uh, okay, no, uh, my cousin Paul, out in L.A., being an actor, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he's in a pilot. Everybody can go check it out, fallingflat.com. Okay. Is it Apparently. Hollyweed? No. No, it's Falling called, Flat. It's called Falling Flat. Hey, and, uh, but it would have been cool if it was Hollywood. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I just got a text. I'm going to check it out. Supposedly he nails it. He comes in about midway through, they say. Oh, okay. 
Cool. <laughs> Steals the whole show. All right, so we're getting ready to wrap up. We'll do our Marvel trivia. Which Spidey lookalike villain wants to eat Spidey's brains? Venom. Now, for an extra point. Lookalike. Originally, Venom would want to eat brains, but he found he didn't have to eat brains. He could eat what? Chocolate. He could eat chocolate, <laughs> and it gave the symbiote. Because it was like answer. something was in brains that kept the symbiote yeah. alive. Turns out he could just eat chocolate. I always, I, <laughs> Much to his chagrin, after you were eating brains for years. I knew exactly where you were going as soon as you Venom started. Venom doesn't mind eating brains, though, either, right? I don't know about Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock might have a problem with that. Uh, who is Thanos in love with? Death. 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 She hooked up with Deadpool. Dead, she she's in, well, she's fickle. Who was multiple man's best friend on X Factor? Single. Strong woman. guy. Strong guy. Ha <laughs> damn. Who tutored the Scarlet Witch in the use of her magic? Oh, um, uh, shit. Wait, Harded I saw dark, this one. Agathis, Agathis Harkness. Harkness. Damn, fuck, I couldn't get it out. Hmm. Jack Harkness? What godlike being did Meltdown join up with for a while? Godlike being. God-like Spectre. Being. Okay. Meltdown, Meltdown is Meltdown. from X Factor. Okay. No, no, she's from X Force. Um, she she went by Boom Boom for a while. Oh, Boom Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah I know become, Boom Boom. Tabitha. So, unless she's talking about, unless they're talking about Cannonball. For a while well, there. Well, he was an Eternal. Yeah, which they dropped well, that fast. Like. That's not. Well, that's because it was stupid. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's the answer? No. Huh. Did not know that. I wonder when that happened. Okay. That's when she was introduced. I guess that. Okay. Venom, Mistress Death, Strong Guy, Agatha Harkus, Harkness, and the Beyonder. The Beyonder? I guess during Secret like Wars. Like the guy two. that Spider Man taught how to pee. Yeah. <laughs> Now who now who did the Beyonder base his body off Steve of? Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers, of course. Just gave else? him a, a dark shirt. A, a they Jerry got a Jerry Curl <laughs> because he's like, you know what the one thing wrong with this look is? No Jerry Curl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All so, right. Anyway, all right, let's wrap her up. Boy. Okay, send all complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast dot com. You can also get a hold of us at facebook dot com slash scramblebrainscast. Like it. Like it. Love, Love it. it. Check out all the Be articles. It. It's good times. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, absolutely. It's fun. Uh, we're also on Twitter, at ScrambleCast. Uh, are we doing the Tumblr still? No. I think no. we're doing no. No. But you know what we are doing? iTunes. Yeah. iTunes. We're, we, we are doing iTunes mm. all night long. You should be doing iTunes all night long, too, listener. All night long. All Faithful night. listener. And, yeah, go over there, subscribe, <laughs> uh, review it. That would be the best subscribe thing you Subscribe and yep. renew. Those easy steps will guide you to enlightenment. Okay. There you go. Like, Perfect enlightenment. Yeah, you won't. You know. You know when you go, like, that's kind what, of why am I here? What's my purpose? Yeah. What's the meaning of life? Why am I always depressed? Well, if you go and you like and you subscribe and you renew or re, now you got me saying it. Review our our podcast over there. All will be revealed. This is like Dianetics. Yeah. <laughs> also, we are descended from aliens. Yeah, and a volcano. All right. Anyway, uh, but you know. You know, you can also go to YouTube if that's your preferred method. Go to yeah. YouTube, subscribe there. That would be great as well. Yeah, um, might as well. What in the hell else are you doing? Eventually, doing? we're going to get maybe all the episodes. I don't know. No. Probably nope. not. No, okay. I'm not going to go back and do 120 <laughs> episodes. <laughs> all right, well. It takes, like, uh, hours. Never mind. So we're only going Surrender. from now. Okay, yeah. what, what we got up there for. Yeah. Okay. So I told you wrong. That's sorry. And actually, I didn't even put the one up from last week because we did it so late. Uh, it takes like three hours just to, for the video to render. Really? Shit, and really? Like, Man, I can leave my computer working on it, but it kind of ties it I up. Don't do so. All right. Anyway, but if you can't find any of those links, and if you if anybody knows how to make videos render, because it's just a, it's a graphic with an audio track. Yeah, there's got to be a quicker way to do this. You know, I've been doing be video for a long time, but I don't know. I don't know. Don't I, mean, mean. I guess it's because it's you know over an hour of video. It just takes a long time to do. Oh, man, uh, but you can go to our, our, our official page, www.scramblebrainscast.com, and that'll have links to everything Yes, on there. So, I mean, you That's can just go anywhere you want. One-stop shop. The email's yeah. there. The Facebook is there. The the website's on the website, of course it is. What the, about the iTunes link? The iTunes link is there. Wow. That, and you should go. How convenient. YouTube, I'm sure, mm-hmm. is there, too. Yeah. It's everything Twitter? is there. It is your one-stop shop, man. Yes, I'm going to... Copyright that one stop shop. That's not taken. I, I like that. it. Yeah, that's that's pretty I'm catchy. Sure, man. I'm sure. I'm sure that's yep. uh, completely original. Marketing genius. Uh, yeah, I know. I mean, I try. Anyway, 
Goodbye, Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other.